story to share with you today. It's called Take the Big Test, and it's a Henry and Mudge story. Some of you have probably read these stories before. They're really fun. Lincoln, and Li Lincoln really likes them. This is a chapter book, too. The first chapter is called The Smart Dog. On a sunny day, Henry and Henry's mother and Henry's big dog, Mudge, were sitting on their front porch. A man with a collie walked by. Suddenly, the man stopped. Sit, said the man. The collie sat. Down, said the man. The collie laid down. Henry looked at Mudge. Mudge looked at Henry. They both looked at the collie. Stay, said the man. Then the walk. Then the. Then he walked a long way down the street. He didn't look back. Then the collie stayed. The man turned down another street and disappeared. The collie stayed. After a while, when the man came back, Susie, heel, he said to the collie, and they walked down the street together. Henry looked at his mother. Wow, he said. Smart dog, she said. Henry looked at Mudge. Mudge, heel, said Henry, and he walked down the steps. Mudge rolled over and started to drool. Well, at least he's good at staying, Henry said. <laughs> Except when company comes, said Henry's mother. Right, Henry frowned. And when the cat next door wants to visit, said Henry's mother. Right, Henry frowned some more. And when your dad is mowing the grass, said Henry's mother. Right, Henry frowned even can more. Can I see the mower again? Yeah. Can I see the mower? Mm -hmm. the, can I see the mower? It's a hand push mower. Maybe Mudge needs to go to school, Henry said to his mother. Maybe. Maybe Mudge needs a nice teacher, like Mrs. Crocus, Henry said. Mrs. Crocus was Henry's second grade teacher. Maybe, Henry's mother smiled. Mudge, said Henry, do you want to go to school? Mudge snorted and drooled. I hope dog school has nap time, said Henry. And lots of paper towels, said Henry's mother, looking at her porch. Why oh, does she need paper towels? Because he's a drooler. <laughs> Henry went shopping for Mudge's first day of school. Oops. Oops. Look at the great things he can get. Can I see, Mom? Mm -hmm. Can I see? Oh, this is the second chapter called School. He bought Mudge a new red leash. He bought Mudge a new silver collar. He bought Mudge a box of liver treats. And Henry bought himself a paddle ball because he was nervous. Henry played like Henry liked to play paddle ball when he was nervous. And he was nervous because he thought Mudge might flunk out of dog school. <coughs> dog school. <coughs> He thought Mudge might drool on the teacher's foot or sit on a poodle by mistake or not even stay awake long enough to do anything. Henry paddled like crazy. Paddle like crazy. Paddle, 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 paddle. A lot of you guys probably haven't seen one of those. Can I see that paddle, paddle, paddle? Yeah, see? When the first day of school arrived, Henry and Henry's mother and Henry's big dog Mudge drove to a long white building. Its sign read, Pap's Dog School. Inside was Jack Pap with a handful of dog treats. Mr. Pap is your teacher, Henry told Mudge. Mudge wagged. He jumped up to lick Jack Pap's face. No, Mudge, said Henry. <laughs> Don't worry, said Jack Pap. I know what to do. He held Mudge's front paws. He wouldn't let go. He danced Mudge up and he danced Mudge back. He danced Mudge all around. Can I see? Mm-hmm. Back here. Can I see back here? Mm-hmm. They're dancing. Mm. Mudge didn't like dancing. When Jack Pat finally let go, Mudge didn't jump up again. He was afraid Jack might want to dance. Pretty good teacher, Henry said to his mother. Pretty good, she said. They watched Jack Pap give Mudge a dog treat and a hug. So far, dog school was fun. <laughs> Third chapter, the big test. 
Mudge was not a perfect student. He liked to lay down too much. He liked to sniff the other students. He liked to think about other things. But he always showed up, and he always wagged his tail, and he always gave his teacher a kiss. At home, Henry practiced with Mudge. They practiced in the backyard. Henry had one pocket full of liver treats. When Mudge did something right, he got a treat. When Mudge did something wrong, he got an aw, Mudge. He had an aw, Mom. Aw, Mudge. Aw, oh, Mudge. Can I see? Mm -hmm. What? And after a few weeks, Henry needed two pockets full of liver treats because Mudge was getting almost everything right. He sat when he heard sit. He walked when he heard heal. He stayed when he heard stay, most of the time anyway. He still didn't do too well when the cat next door came to visit. Henry and Mudge went to dog class for eight weeks. They worked very hard. They went through many boxes of liver treats. The last day of class was the big test. Henry and Henry's parents and Henry's big dog Mudge arrived early. Jack Papp would decide which dogs passed the test. He said that Mudge would go. Uh, he said that Mudge would go after the beagle and before the and before the chow chow. Good dog, Mudge whispered. Henry, we can do it. When it was their turn, Jack Papp said to Mudge, "Okay, Mudge." Let's see what you can do. Jack Pap gave Henry a big smile. Can I see? Yeah, hold on a sec. I'm going to show the friends first. There they all are. All the doggies. Sit, said Henry. Mudge sat. Down, said Henry. Mudge laid down. Stay, said Henry. Mudge stayed. Henry walked away. He didn't look back. He walked around the long white building. Wishing he had his paddle ball. He sure hoped Mudge would stay. Mudge did stay. When Henry came back, he saw Mudge laying in the same place, wagging his tail. He gave Mudge a big hug and a kiss and two liver cheats. Henry shook Jack Pap's hand. Mudge shook Jack Pap's hand. Mudge had passed the test. He got a fancy certificate, he got a gold ribbon, and he got a gigantic dog biscuit. <laughs> Henry's father and Henry's mother clapped and clapped. Wow, said Henry's father. Smart dog, said Henry's mother. Great dog, said Henry. Mudge wagged at them and barked and drooled one last time on his teacher's foot. The yeah. end. The end. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story. Ah, back, I'll see you next back, time. Back up.